A really important aspect of this time as you go into the dark of the winter to know that shadow stuff is more up for you. And that's what we talked about. There's this low vibrational carpet across the country, from the, primarily from the financial thing, but also with the elections. And that draws out the lower vibrational, or you can say it another way, the shadow sides of you. And it's really important not to be afraid of your shadow or not to hide from your shadow, but to say, hey, you're part of me too. Let's look how we can transmute you, not ignore you, not hide you, not be ashamed of you, but transmute you into something that's actually for growth. Mm -hmm. And the political process is really good at bringing up fear. They count on your fear in order to get you to vote in certain ways mm -hmm. and to allow certain things to happen. They count on you being afraid. Just as the financial markets count on you being in lack, the political process counts on you being in fear. Let's see, the church counts on you being in guilt. Hmm. <laughs> fear, guilt, and lack, right? The triple cocktail. We've talked about it so many times. So you've got the financial markets, the church, and the government all in bed with each other to keep you as low vibrational as possible. So you're so busy looking down going, oh shit, that you don't realize that you are a powerful, infinite, divine being. And that's getting really old. If we have any sort of no volcano within us, that's where it's going off. Just don't play that game anymore. Just don't. Just don't play that game anymore. The fear, guilt, and lack game is so old. If you're not bored with it, we certainly are getting close to bored with it. And to bore us is really hard. Because <laughs> we find everything interesting. But boy, the fear, guilt, lack game is just a yawn. When we see how much of your ability to function in this world is consumed by fear, guilt, and lack, we just think, oi, 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 when? When are they going to remember how fabulous they are? Now would be a good time. <laughs> and that's why we keep telling you to ask the question, is this making me high vibrational? Is reading this newspaper article supporting my high vibration? And if it's not, can I change it? Well, let's look, like we just said, let's look at what it's bringing up. And be honest about how that's true in me. Not how she did it or he did it, but how it's true in me. Or you can just say, you know, all this is bringing up is fear, guilt, and lack. I've done a lot of work on fear, guilt, and lack. And right, what I'm really realizing is I just need to take myself out of this. I need to click close that computer. Or I need to shut that newspaper or turn that TV channel. I don't need to subject myself to more pings. How you doing off your guilt and lack? How you doing off your guilt and lack? How you doing off your guilt and lack? Like, shut up! You know, I've done a lot of work on fear, guilt, and lack. I might not be done, but I certainly don't need this. <laughs> and only you can make that choice. Once again, only you can make that choice. This is the time of choice. And we'll give you a preview for October. We always love to have really super neat rhyming kind of names for it, but October is the month of choice, folks. October is the month of choice. And you're choosing every single moment to support your high vibrational life, your high vibrational experience, or to go habitual, to go matching low vibration, and to go diminishing. This is the month of choice. And no one can take that choice from you because you live in a free will zone. No one can make those choices for you. And more importantly, no one can make you choose. You can sit like a deer in the headlights waiting for the train to run you down. And the train is the train of low vibration because it's certainly out there. Makes socializing very interesting. Mm hmm sure does. <laughs> Everything becomes more just eating, right? Socializing, trying to live, trying to work, trying to be in the world in any way, shape, and form. You're currently completely revising how you experience this world because you're starting to truly learn who you are. And as you start to learn who you are and you start to have that much soul energy become part of your body, 
you have to revamp the way you experience this world because you can't have change without change. And you're not experiencing this world anywhere near the way you're able to because of the habits you have of being an unsold human. But now that you're becoming an insold human, you have the opportunity to have deep experiences that are outside your current paradigm. But in order to have them, you have to be willing for change to occur. And sometimes it's a little scary, but guess what? You're just scared because you don't know what's on the other side. And the more you can say the deep yes, no matter what occurs, the more practice you put into that tool, the more it won't matter what's on the other side. Because you trust that as a high vibrational being, it will continue to add to your growth no matter what it is. And that's really the path that you're walking. That's it in a nutshell. Whatever that last five or six, seven, eight minutes, that's it. That's what's going on. We could repeat that for the next six months and you'd be pretty much on, on track. There'll be nuances, but that's what's going on. Let's see, right now it's coming up October. October, November, December, January. Oh, we've already lost track. What's six months? October, November, December. That's three January, months. March, April. January, February, March. 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 Yeah, sometime late March. This tax season is going to be really interesting. I'm just giving you a warning on that. This what? Tax season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. Great. <laughs> Who said great? Oh, Donna. Donna. <laughs> what do you mean by great? Well, I'm, I mean, I'm, I never think it's very good. So if it's going to be even worse. Did we say worse? No. Interesting. 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 Mm. <laughs> That's okay. why we pointed you out, because you immediately went to a low vibrational reaction to our comment. Yeah. What if we said, we're not saying this, but we could have said, interesting because you won't have to pay. Woohoo! Or interesting because you won't have to file. Or interesting because you won't have to do taxes anymore. What if all those things were part of interesting? See, that's what we're pointing out. Nothing needs to be bad or good. Because when you make that choice for duality, you're removing yourself from the opportunity to live homo spiritus. That's the point we're really trying to bring home tonight. You're losing a fine opportunity to live high vibrationally when you decide something's either bad or good. Now when we say this tax season is going to be interesting, the reaction that we're hoping to groom in you is, okay. And if we said, this tax season is going to be a hell, okay. And if we say, this tax season you're not going to have to pay a dime, okay. Neutral observation, which when practiced frequently becomes bliss. Because everything is an opportunity for learning. Everything is an opportunity to become more of who you are. See the vital essence of that? <coughs> So for the next, what did we say, six months, maybe make it seven, we want to get past April 15th. For that next, let's say until the end of April, it, it, it's a period of deepening your experience of knowing who you are through putting your conscious high vibrational life at the top of your list. So is that a bluff, or is it really going to be interesting? <laughs> what would it matter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's going to be interesting, I'll look forward to it. It's going to be interesting no matter what, because now you're going to be looking forward to it. And maybe, because you're going to be looking forward to it, it will be more interesting than it's ever been before. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it really comes down to you saying the deep yes to whatever's going on. Looking for high vibrational living and coming from neutral observation, which is the same as the DPS. You know, that neutral place that says whatever is, is right for me in this moment or it wouldn't be showing up. And if I don't particularly enjoy this experience, then there's something within me that needs to be transformed. So it doesn't matter what's occurring, I have the ability to have an, an impact on it. Through having an impact on myself.